All right, guys. That's dark. Yeah, it's better. Okay, well, I'm sitting here in my garage. I just got out of Alita Battle Angel. You know, I thought about it on the way home, so I thought I'd just hit the record button and start talking about it. Um, I cannot believe how good that movie was. Um, I saw it because I was wanting to see a film, and Captain Marvel is literally playing every half hour in every cinema that's around me. It's all day, and <laughs> I don't know why people would go to that movie when Alita Battle Angel is in theaters. This, it was so fucking good. Like, I, I can't stop thinking about it after getting out of it. Uh, Robert Rodriguez directed it. He directed Sin City and Spy Kids 3, <laughs> which is a, a pretty shit film. But this fucking film, he fucking nailed it. Are you kidding me? This was so good. James Cameron helped write the script. Um, uh, Junkie XL did the score. And Christoph Waltz is in the fucking movie. Edward Norton is like the main bad guy at the, fi uh, at the end of the film. And it sets it up for a sequel. It's like... Did anybody watch this film? Are we gonna get a sequel? Because I want a fucking sequel to this movie. This was fucking great. Are you kidding me right now? I cannot believe people are gonna go to Captain Marvel over this goddamn film. Uh, man, it was so good. It had everything you could want in a film. It was almost like a superhero origin. It's based off of the anime of the same name, Alita Battle Angel. Uh, it was a manga series too. And... Now I want to watch the anime. Like, this, it was that good. I want to watch the anime now. Um, just so fucking good. If you want to see a film this weekend, or this week, because uh, I know spring break, a lot of people are on spring break this weekend, and this week coming up, uh, go see this fucking film. It was fucking good. Uh, if you were on the fence, you're like, eh, female lead, uh, get that shit out of your head. This is like the best fucking movie uh, of, you know, of this month, easily. Uh, and, you know, I can't think of a, you know, I think it's a little better than Aquaman, honestly. And you know, that's coming from a big DC fucking fan. Uh, I, the dialogue is better in Alita, you know, the action's pretty good. And it really does feel like, uh, almost half a movie. Almost, <laughs> I think that's like the one negative I will say about Alita. Um, because it's building up to this big, you know, confrontation between... Alita and like the real main villain that we finally see like near the end of the film and we don't get that it kind of like leaves you hanging kind of like uh we're waiting on a sequel you know and I don't know if we're ever going to get that sequel I don't know how much money this film made I don't think it made a lot so yeah I mean I hope it happens uh, I really do because the cast was great they did a great job the chick who played Alita did a great job I forget her name uh, she was CG the whole film, and I really, like, going in, I thought that would, like, uh, throw me off. I thought it would be a problem, but it really wasn't. Uh, I thought it was going to be, like, uncanny. Like, you weren't, like, going to believe that it was a real person, but I had no problem uh, buying into it. Uh, it fit. Like, the whole movie, aesthetically, had a lot of CG in it, and it all looked great. And, the, you know, the lighting was superb it was it looked like blade runner half the time it looked like blade runner 2049 or whatever the sequel was uh it, it had the same like color spectrum as that movie and it, it was just an awesome futuristic film not a lot of setup it kind of just throws you into the movie throws you into the world and i just like that i like picking up you know in a new universe new world don't explain a lot to me just like get it going and it did that you know it was a two-hour film. Uh, it went by super quick, so that's a good sign that the film is good. And, yeah, definitely go see this. I mean, I, I loved all the cybernetic fighting. You know, like, they're all robots fighting. I thought that was great. And, uh, yeah, man, I had a good time watching it. I'll probably, like, end up buying this and watching, rewatching it over and over. Uh, I, I thought it was that good. Um, but, yeah. Definitely an awesome superhero film. It really felt like a superhero origin. It really did. Uh, I had a great time watching it. If you haven't seen it yet, go see it while Captain Marvel's in film. You know, while, <laughs> while Captain Marvel's in while Captain Marvel is in theaters, go see Battle Angel. You know, vote with your wallets. You know, fuck Disney. Fuck the MCU. Man, they would have put out a shit film, 
Go see an actual good film that's in theaters right now. It's still in theaters. It might only be in theaters for the next couple weeks. So definitely go see this film. Um, that's it for now. Comment below. Let me know what you all thought of the film. If you've seen it already. Or like if you're planning on seeing it. And you fucking hate this new Captain Marvel film. And it let you down a lot. Go back to the theaters and watch Alita Battle Angel. You know. Like this. It was totally worth it. But yeah. That's it for now. I uh, hope everyone's having a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.